In the Gospel of John, chapter 6, verses 5 and 6, you can find a leadership moment from the life of the greatest among spiritual leaders. Then Jesus lifted up his eyes, and seeing a great multitude coming toward him, he said to Philip, Where shall we buy bread that these may eat? But this he said to test him, for he himself knew what he would do. Yes, he knew what he would do. That's what it means to be intentional in spiritual leadership. Jesus didn't act randomly. He didn't leave his actions to chance. We don't see him lead by accident. He's not haphazard in his approach. He knew what he would do. To be an intentional spiritual leader, you need to understand the roles of those involved. First, you want to make sure you know your own role well. Your role is to be a spiritual parent and create an environment of spiritual growth. For spiritual babies to become spiritual kids. For spiritual kids to become spiritual youngsters. For spiritual youngsters to become spiritual adults or spiritual parents. Then you want to be aware of the role of those you're leading or you're growing. If someone is unteachable or ungrowable, that's not necessarily your fault or failure. Spiritual growth is not up to only spiritual parents. If your spiritual child refuses to grow, what can you do? Well, pray. See, spiritual leaders often forget they are not God. Allow God to play his role. He plays it well. Now, intentionality in spiritual leadership doesn't mean rigidity. Being an intentional leader doesn't mean controlling every possible distraction so you can perfectly execute your plan. An intentional spiritual leader is also flexible. Sometimes you have to stop, even make a detour, for the sake of meeting people where they are and attending their specific needs. So adjust but don't be sidetracked. Keep focused and lead deliberately. Continue to intentionally invest yourself in the growth of your spiritual children. God bless.